Y'all hear about the damn uh, animal control being under fire? Oh, here? yeah. I heard they a big stink. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What what's happening? Well, smuggling. Am I still a dog? Mm, sort of. Yeah. Sort of. Uh, apparently, <laughs> over the last two years, the three people who work at animal control have put down over 11,000 dogs. <laughs> I mean, cats. Sorry. 11,000 cats and about 4,800 dogs without proper you know, permits. <laughs> Damn! Yikes! Yeah. How many cats? Eleven thousand. <clears throat> Suppose well, I skip if over them. Peter took a cat in one day mm-hmm. and went back to get it the next, and it was too oh, late. Wow. Yeah, it was already gone. Mm-hmm. And ran out of time. Yeah. Jeez. So they are uh, no charges will be filed. Apparently, <laughs> you know, because who gives a damn if you kill eleven thousand cats and forty eight hundred dogs? Well, the dog is a little concerned about the cast. I could care less about. Well, there's a third leg to this here story. Oh, now here we go. You know how every once in a while you see a farm animal Mm -hmm. over there? Mm -hmm. Apparently, they've been toting them farm animals onto the house. Whoa! Dang, so they what I heard now. I'm not any truth to that. That was the scuttlebutt at the cafe this morning when I was eating breakfast. Was these farm animals been taken out of there and sent off to? Well, there's a lot of people, you know, that can't be around foreign animals. I mean, I, you, you know a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Doesn't surprise me, though. I mean, if you're going to take one, take one you can put to use. You know, yep. milking it, you know, eating it. Ride you know. it or something. Yeah. yeah. Using it to yeah. till your land, I right. guess. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. But, you know, I don't see many people, you know, tilling a garden with a cat. It don't work that well. <laughs> you know, it takes about eleven thousand of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, if you put eleven thousand of them on, and you know, had them all going one way, yeah. you might could do some stuff. But. Or if you had a plot of land with a fence that was properly, you know, Earl could tell us properly. Yes. Yeah, for <laughs> cat control, and you needed to till that up. You put eleven thousand of them out there, and then you just hucked a dang handful of firecrackers in there. No. Mm. Now, you might get some land turn. All you got to do is get digging in the ground. Yeah. That's all it is, you know. Yeah. And you can get that out the cow house. So, I mean, just, yeah. you know. They could open up a whole new Tiger Tales. Yeah. <laughs> 11,000. Call it Cat Tales? Yeah. Yeah. It's called yeah. it Cat Tales. Could have. Been like a cat sanctuary. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. yeah dang. 11,000 cats. Animal control. Yeah. I think they're going to have to get new employees, but uh, it blew my mind when they're like, yeah, we're not going to file any charges over. Like, then what's the problem? If I kill two cats. Oh, yeah. They'd put mm. you in jail forever. Right. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. animal abuse. Yeah. I don't but have it, permits or certificates or whatever you got to have. Mm-mm. They're Apparently, like, you don't have to. If you got a badge, you know, it's like the You're good old good. boy system back before uh, integration. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Except the, it's the same with animals still. Yeah. Like They're like, eh, who cares? Right. Kill them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that was the, th- but I'm saying it's, a, you know, it was. Let's move on to something else. What are you talking about push-ups? I'm talking about the cats. Yeah. I'm talking about the cats. Okay. Yeah, but you was talking about push-ups. Yes. Earlier. Yeah, I was just, well, you know, I got to thinking, though. Uh, Not many is how many I can How do. many could you do push-ups? You talking about them little ice cream push-ups? I yeah. Probably eat that, well, so, I've Amen, said brother. seven. How many you think you could do? Legit push-ups or girl push-ups? Them little things you push up, orange sickles. Oh, yeah, I could probably eat a box of those. However many is in a box. <laughs> yeah. 24 in a box. 20, yeah. I'd say 24. Gross. Yeah. Whole box. I was just wondering. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I seen some in the store, and I said, I wonder how many push-ups I could do. I could eat a quarter pallet of belt, you know, with belt. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'd Easy. get sick after a minute, but I'd, I could eat them. How I many, could eat a lot. How many real push-ups do you think you could do? I'll do 25 or 24. Yeah. I like even numbers. Three. Yeah. I could I could do 500. Okay. Before the end of the year. I guarantee oh, yeah. I could. Hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, shit. It's only, you know, it's only May. I could do probably eight, you know, in a one sitting without, you know, needing to call a doctor or just <laughs> mm-hmm. get checked. Yeah. Yep. Girl <laughs> push up probably fourteen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you could do eight <laughs> at one sitting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. And one, Hanging and one down try. on the floor. <laughs> nah. Nah, nah, nah. No. no. Mm-hmm. I'm Sometimes I'll just be at my wall. desk, just bending over, you know, thinking, oh, that's a sit up. It's kind of like a sit down. Yeah, it's got a, you it's count more, it anyway, right? It's more like a sit over. And I'm like, these like, will help. It's kind of like a lean. Yeah. yeah. They don't help. They've <laughs> never they once grew for more nah. push ups. Uh-uh. You are more flexible, though, when you now, get when up. I, when, I was, yeah. when I first went in the Navy, now we had to do a bunch of push ups. I could do a bunch back then. 
Oh yeah. But uh, now, many, was there yeah. like a a number that you had to hit, or was it like do it yeah. till you pass out? Or? No, you, you, everybody had to be able to do so many and yeah. so much length of time. There was a time limit. You know? Oh wow! Did you have to uh, lift a certain amount of weight? No, we didn't do weights. You so had to like do push ups, sit ups, pull ups. Yeah, you were not a diver, was you? Four or five yeah. miles. Ooh, no, no. You ran for 45 miles. Uh, Four to what? five. Oh. Yeah, what the hell are they doing? Why would you not have to? You said you didn't have to. What did you say? <laughs> didn't have to swim. <laughs> didn't have to lift weights. Yeah, I mean, but oh, you didn't yeah. have to swim? No, he said dive. Oh, 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 oh Yeah, oh, you yeah. had to. Yeah, we had oh. several people that couldn't swim, and that that was. Seems like a you know spot on choice to go to the you, Navy. You, yeah. you would think you would say, hey, I'm going to join the Navy. Maybe I ought to learn to swim first. Yeah. Nah. Right. Nah, That's and, not really required. Yeah, nah. Forget the recruiter who also got you in there, too. It was like, yeah, mm, yeah you can't swim. Navy it is. Oh, you'll figure it like, out. <laughs> who's doing yeah. that? Who's setting these guys up for failure they, like they, that? They took the handful that couldn't and, and taught them enough to pass the floating test the, for Test the buoyancy test. <laughs> well, that seems like they were getting some top-notch, you know, well, War that machines. was back in the day when it was either <laughs> when you get busted for a little simple possession, marijuana type stuff, mm-hmm. the judge would say, by this time tomorrow, you, if you're not enlisted in the military, you're going to jail. Ah. Mm-hmm. So by the next morning, they was enlisting in the Navy, and they didn't care, oh, yeah. couldn't they could care less about anything other than not going to jail. Right, had a lot of shaggies mm-hmm. and scoobies showing up for, you know, water polo. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And it made it tough on those of us who were trying to do our job and all, because they didn't care. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, mean, I can imagine. There that were one. guys that had been in longer than me that I passed them in in rate. Yeah, blue because they didn't. They didn't, they wouldn't even go take the test or they didn't care. They didn't couldn't swim. Couldn't swim. Didn't care. <laughs> Did you go to the navy uh, by choice? Or, yes. Okay. You about, wanted to do that. It was about eight or nine of us that all went and joined at the same time. Uh, okay. Nice. Well, thank you for your service, Earl. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Today is Armed Forces Day, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's right. Fuck if I know. Yeah. Uh, but thanks. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> also, <laughs> it was an it was an honor to serve. You uh, seem like you have the. Well, I'm glad you did it. Yeah, because we I mean, wouldn't fare yeah, well. Nah, I'm glad. Yeah, you would. You've you been around us long enough, so yeah, you know. But you seem <laughs> like you built well for speed in the water. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Honestly, you seem like you built well for speed on the, on the land, on the too. Land so too. You, you would have been finding any branch. <laughs> well, you know? I ain't been caught yet. Let's put it there that way. Go. There we go. There we go. I've just thought about that when we were sitting here. Yeah, Earl's very uh, – you, you look like you're fast. He looks I like mean, one of the fastest people I know yeah. in everything he does. Swimming, running, driving a car. Most yeah. cats fixing, eat, fixing stuff. Wish they had reflexes like oh, yeah. I got. No, right. I could see that for sure. I could tell that when you come in here with your flip flops on. That's what the cats say. Like, oh, you got them early. Like <laughs> yeah, they didn't have good enough reflexes. <laughs> yeah, now, I hey, survived. Now that I know, you got you know a lot of stuff popping with your uh, uh, you know retirement and your uh, grass cutting, electrical pump work, uh, everything else you do. Earl of all trades. Yeah. That's what we, yeah. I don't know if you saw last week's episode, but <laughs> we got a shirt coming that says Earl of All Trades. Well, I wonder so, why you asked me what side shirt or what. Yeah. So, uh, that might have had something to do with yeah. it. You know, oh, what's to coming do now? <laughs> so, we got you hooked up there. Uh, and we've also filed for a trademark for that. So, that's for you. Well, I'll try that's to right. remember uh, my neighbor down at the lake wrote a advertisement mm-hmm. when i used to yeah. do stuff and he yeah. list all the things that i could do on there. oh yeah oh, we gotta get I, that i have to find it and bring it down yeah yeah we gotta get our hands on that <laughs> uh but what was i talking about oh a new business for you i know we got a lot of you know irons in the fire but you know training cats to be more stealthy that seems like something that. you could that do sounds like a good proposition because yeah. there's plenty of dog trainers out there not a lot of cat trainers. That's true. You know, there we go. Niche. I could redefine herding cats, couldn't I? Oh, yeah. That's right. You could actually do it. God almighty. Just imagine if Earl walked into a, where do they sell cats at? Oh, uh, PetSmart. Jockey Lot. Jockey Lot. Yeah. Well, you sell them at that humane side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Just imagine yeah. if Earl walked in. a little in. supply, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 I was going to say, didn't run out of everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Earl walked in, just waved his hand a certain way, and all the cats just... <laughs> yes. Stood up at attention. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Look at him. Uh, Look at that him. would be frightening. <laughs> yeah, cat. There ain't but one cat that I really like. Now, yeah. uh, Rooster. Donnie Ray Spearman's cat. Yeah. Rooster cat. Mm-hmm. Rest of them, I don't care too much for. Yeah. Oh, man, you you grow accustomed to mine, Earl. Don't worry. 
you'll get accustomed Let's to hope them. not. Yeah, yeah like you're hanging out every evening. Like, no, you'll be yeah, fine nah, around. No, nah, you'll get you'll get used to them. Don't worry, you'll get used to them. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to you know love them. They're your nieces. Basically, so. basically what he's saying is is he's moving next month, so you're gonna have you to be get, around. You're gonna get, them get to know them. Yeah, oh, shit off the wall, them, put so. it back on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that, don't worry. They'll, they'll get accustomed to you. Okay. <laughs> what did you buy at the Jockey Lot? You went to the Jockey Lot. I did. I went to the Jockey Lot today, and it was awesome. Yeah. It was, I, I, the last time I went to the Jockey Lot was when I was probably eight, eight or nine. <laughs> I couldn't tell you when the last time I've been. Uh, it was a while back. It was, it was 15 years ago plus. Okay. So I didn't know what to expect. I thought, you know, wooden tables, that's about it. And then, <laughs> But, dude, when I got there, it was a cluster of everything. Like in anything one, you could want, anything you could want, dude. I saw a little bit of everything. I saw some purses, mm-hmm. saw some boots. Yeah, I saw some uh, golf clubs. Okay. I saw some. Well, uh, well now, did you inspect? Like I a, did. I looked uh, at the golf clubs. Did they we need any of them? Or? No, they okay. weren't too good. Right. They, they weren't. There was an old wood putter. <laughs> that side, was kind of cool. Side note: I could have been Lee's. You know, somebody stole his car. Damn, that could have been. Lee's. And, I could have uh, got that back. From and him. he had like ancient Shit. golf clubs in the back from like Scotland. He was like, hey, I don't want the car back. You know, it's a fusion hybrid. And I was like, good choice. <laughs> yeah, but, I'm going to file you know, it on insurance. Matter of fact, can you wreck it? <laughs> but I'd like the golf clubs back. And they were like, no. You know, somebody on Facebook was like, no. Yeah, whoever took <laughs> it. Like, well, shit. Yeah. Now you know who took it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, James but those when his truck got stole, the old beat up old Dodge. I said, James, you think you're going to get your truck back? He said, well, I don't care if I get my truck back, but I sure do need my ranches. <laughs> needed his ranches you gotta get them ranches back i say them ranches you know but yeah those could have been leaves but you saw golf clothes purses boots <clears throat> dude i saw everything stickers they were selling face masks t-shirts puppies, puppies. t-shirts yeah puppies dude the, t-shirts i'm gonna be honest with you i got real uncomfortable when it went to the puppy section just because man it looks like they're hit or miss on those like you can go to one storefront i guess is what you call them storefront <laughs> yeah you go to one storefront and you see you're like oh wow they got german shepherd puppies registered okay. akc thanks awesome yeah like seven hundred dollars yeah but then you go to the next section and it's like feral bunnies please take them <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. okay you can't just you can't just put that there uh-huh. but do this some of the some of the cages there were a little bit head you know yep. a little bit mm, yeah. risque and it like you know it looked like they weren't taking too good care of some did of you go to find something or buy something or you just went to look around no we just went to look around uh-huh. we just went to because i hadn't seen the jockey lot in years yeah. we went window shopping at the jockey lot yes just to see what we could find to see if they had something you needed yeah because you never know man I, I think i bought uh i bought a laminator I bought a laminator today just in case i need to laminate anything and then don't laminate social security Mm-mm. don't laminate uh, birth certificates. Don't laminate your vaccine card. Well, shit. There's Sister. Well, that's all I've done today. There's, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a handful of things that once you laminate them, they're no longer valid. They're so, void. Uh, but we, well, sh- looks like I'm not a person anymore. Yeah, dude. I was gonna say two out of the three identity. of those already got laminated. <laughs> yeah, dude. I got my. So that means we don't have to pay taxes down since we're not even somebody. No, oh. not unless you go down to the. Don't Adam laminate. Filter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, go in there undocumented real quick. Next yeah. day, you out. <laughs> well, I like how they say, don't laminate a, what did you say, a social security card? Mm-hmm. It's on a damn piece of construction paper. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's on like a piece of papyrus. Is yeah, what it's on. Somebody with a typewriter. <laughs> if you're like me, it. the one that you've probably been carrying all your life that your mom and daddy gave you and said, don't ever lose this, and mm-hmm. you've held on it, worthless. That nah. ain't even it. When they when they sent them, they sent it on the sheet of paper, and you right yep. remember this with two of them on it. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. One of them is the real Social Security card, and the other one worthless. Dang. Damn! I hope Mom's got ours because <laughs> well, I don't know what the hell yeah, we've been doing. They don't, they don't, got, they don't got ours, so you yeah. got to go through Social Security. And of course, I try to do this just yeah. as the pandemic hits. Oh, oh yeah. I, I ain't got it yet. Yeah, They're like Jeez. we're working from home. I don't think I have yours, Earl. <laughs> like, <laughs> at your house, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get online to do it online. Yeah. Oh, I bet you that's a damn I'm disaster. I'm going through their things, answering all their questions, date of birth, social security number, do I want a new one or a renewal, you know. All. I hit one button to turn the page, and it says, our records indicate you have an outstanding student loan. Please complete the following. <laughs> mm. Damn. 
Well, I should have known something was wrong right then. <laughs> Anybody would have known that I don't got a student loan out. There you go. So it's about five or six questions on this page. It says, which one of these companies do you have your loan with? And it listed four or five, and then the last answer was none of the above. Mm -hmm. None of the above. Yeah. How many years you got remaining on it? One to three, three to five, five, or none of the above. None of the above. So I go down and I select none of the above on all their questions. Yeah, you ain't got no student loans is what you're saying. Pretty much. Mm -hmm. I hit the button to turn the page. It throwed me completely out of the system. <laughs> no, that's what it is. You have, you, you, do. You popped right. up a little thing and said, you lying, Earl. Yeah, we know yeah, it. Yeah, I started saying, big pop up some damn <laughs> lie. That's what it said. Damn lie, Earl. And it, and it kicked me plumb out of the social security system. So I said, well, don't look like I'm going to get Leave one of them real thing. IDs no time soon. Mm -mm. Yeah, and I went and got one of those. Cause that's I was what like, I was trying to do. Yeah, I was like, I might need to get on a plane, but hell, now that we know you can fly one. I wouldn't recommend getting it. Yeah, you don't yeah. need that now. Yeah. No, nah. I don't know why I got it. <laughs> so. Yeah, but I had my birth certificate and my Social Security card, and I would go be bopping into the damn DMV, and they looked at both pieces of paper and said, neither one of them no good. <laughs> so these aren't valid. My birth certificate was a copy that they had given Mom and Daddy. Yeah. It didn't have some little old signature on it somewhere. Huh. But you know, it's some things you've treasured all your life, thinking, "Oh, I got to hang on." Yeah, I got to have this. What paper is written on? Well, I did. And have that's a what they told you. This ain't, ain't no good. Mm -hmm. Damn. Why? I just looked there and said, "I'm going outside to kill myself." Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I ain't, I'm, I'm I out, ain't even nobody. I'm not even valid. Yeah. <laughs> I took my birth certificate that was, you know, the the printed one, the and then one. I took the little Social Security card, and you know, it ain't give me no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. of course. I, if they would have, I just left. I, mean, I was like, I don't care anyway. All this is made up. Yeah, all this. I'm not <laughs> well, even. Here, here, yeah, yeah, after, yeah here's the difference. You, you, you your, must have been smarter than my daddy and gave you that one to hang on to. <laughs> <laughs> gave you the real one. Yeah. Gave you the real one. You got 25 years worth of records. Earl, he got 60 years worth of records. They ain't gonna yeah. go back that far and look for stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. good point. You know, but. A lot of Earl's probably still classified, so they're like, we don't know who you are. That's right. Yeah, we that, have no clue. That's probably had a lot to do with it. Even yeah. if we wanted to help you, we couldn't. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they'd yeah. say. Dude, I've been I, listening to dang, uh, the uh, conspiracy theory podcast on like different you know things. Like uh, I listened to Jimmy Hoffa yesterday, and then I listened to uh, Hoffa. Well, you didn't listen to Jimmy Hoffa. Yeah, well, I listened to one about him. Yeah. And I listened to the one about Harp. You know what Harp is? Some kind of research place in Alaska is supposed yeah, to have but, like uh, affect the weather. Yeah, the government can affect the weather oh, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That one, and then I listened to one more, and I thought, Whew. and then I'll quit. And then I turn on your boys' podcast. Yeah, <laughs> made me <laughs> to feel, get a laugh. Made yeah. me feel better. I was yeah. gonna say, for goodness' sake, because those other ones, dude. Yeah, those other ones are. Yeah, dude, talking you, about you know deep state and oh yeah dude that's crazy i if thought they get, were talking about star trek for the long they're like deep space i was like uh, yeah. deep space nine star i know trek? where i knew where deep space i is. remember that wharf i remember him <laughs> <laughs> here's here's what i've determined on all these conspiracy theories doesn't mm -hmm. matter what it's about yep mm -hmm. so when you hear what this conspiracy don't don't even deal with what the conspiracy theory is about mm-hmm Look at it from the perspective, would it be, how hard would it be to hide whatever you're yeah. conspiring about? How hard would it be to keep it from everybody? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you start thinking, nah, if that was going on, somebody, right. somebody would have said would be involved, and they're going to tell their buddy, no way to hide that. And then you yeah. say, well, then that conspiracy can't be true. Good but point. Jimmy no Hoffa's probably true. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they go through the one particular one. And I'm not going to shout them out because they don't uh, pay us any money. But <laughs> the one I was listening to, they go through and they say, hey, here's conspiracy theory A. And it's like common stuff that people think, oh, this happened or this happened. They're like, here's A, here's B, here's C. And then they go through and talk about how each of them could have happened. And I was riding down the interstate and I was like, I missed half of this because I was trying to not get in a car wreck. So I, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to yeah, half of this. I don't this, know what's going on. This last three minutes sounded pretty convincing. But that one, and then I listened to the one. The day I listened to the one about uh, Jonestown, and uh, they were like, and they said something, and then apparently a lot of people aren't going to care about this because it's Jim not funny. Jones. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the uh, when they did the 
autopsy on Jim Jones, they had to do his finger, had to run his fingerprints twice because they couldn't get a match. He burned them off. And then they, he supposedly had like tattoos on his chest. And when they did the autopsy, that, that body didn't have no tattoos. I was like, well, I'm going to pull in here and get some to, some to eat. Yeah, I'm going I'm to get some gas. <laughs> I thought he was going to pull in and poop. Yeah. Damn it, I missed, I yeah. missed that one. I made it home for that one. Yeah. I made it back to the house. That was a home bowl. That was a home bowler. But uh, another one that I thought about uh, that just happened, what about this Chinese rocket that apparently just crashed into Earth? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it said it crashed into the ocean. Yeah. Nobody saw it, though. Well, that's the thing about it. They See, that's what they were just assuming. They're like, hey, the earth is 70% water. It'll yeah. probably crash in the ocean. <laughs> well, see, here's the deal. Yeah. You know, I think China, Russia, India, they all in cahoots. Oh, yeah. Because this rocket from China mm-hmm. crashed in the Indian Ocean. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, hey, it could have hit in Wasn't the, that convenient? Yeah, it yeah. could have hit in the Indian. China wouldn't have cared. I mean, yeah. really anywhere, I feel like yeah. it wouldn't right. have cared. But, but my thing is, is... No one really seemed concerned about it. I heard it on the nightly news with damn No Lip Lester Holt oh, once. Yeah. I was like, this, this is a pretty big deal, yeah? Yeah, this could just come down and kill people. Yeah, it's going 14 million miles an hour, however fast it's going, probably fast as Earl goes. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> coming down. Swimming. Yeah. Yes. And it's just going to crash somewhere. land somewhere. Cra- crash yeah, in the yeah. ocean. Well, you see, that's why people ain't concerned about it, because there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. Good point. Yeah, it's going to come out, and it's going to land wherever it lands. Good point. Mm-hmm. You can't think, well, now, I'll go stand over here. Mm-hmm. Well, well, if I see it, I'm going to jump right, out of the way. You know, yeah. yeah. You don't know if that's out of the way or in the way. Uh, so, I saw a, a name, uh, what are the, uh, tweet. I saw a tweet. Yes. So, tweet. I don't even remember how I saw it. Uh, but I saw a tweet. Like the middle of the day before it was supposed to crash, that said, uh, "Watch out!" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's up. It's up. Yeah, like, everybody, watch out! <laughs> it said, uh, "Mexico is still in the running," <laughs> and then it had a link to the Chinese rocket crash, and I was like, Damn. "But, but it was something ridiculous like Mexico's still in the running, but Western U.S. is in the clear." I'm like. Uh, those are pretty close together. Yeah, they kind of uh, go. Yeah, yeah they, they turn into one another. <laughs> right. So I was like, it's going to stop at the border? Yeah. Trump it, didn't finish the wall, damn it. So <laughs> the border yeah, is knows where That's going. not going to help. <laughs> but uh, I thought about it and I was, you know, it didn't like worry me because, like Earl said, ain't nothing you can do about it. Yeah, what are you going to do? But I was already formulating a plan, like looking up uh, in the phone book for like lawyers, like who knows how to sue China? Oh, yeah. You know, just yeah. in case. No, that's well, I know I started driving right faster there. everywhere I went. Just yeah. Just in case. You know. Dodge it. Yeah. 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 Just in case you saw it coming down. You know, hey. Yeah. Well, that's my thing. How did no one see it? Like, once they pinpointed, all right, it's going to be right out here in the Indian Ocean near the Maldives. Or what is it? Maldives. Yeah, Maldives. 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 Uh, Sardines. Yeah. How did no one whip out a camera and be like, well, here we go? Did it happen? Who knows? I don't know, man. I think it could have melted before it got into our atmosphere because mm-hmm. it was going yeah, so fast. A lot of it did burn up. It just a bunch of glue flew down. Yeah, just I think, and they were like, "Oh, what's that?" Yeah, and they were like, "That's glue." Yeah, that's glue, that's glue boy. <laughs> that's glue. Yeah, but, but uh, dude, you can't that's just scary. be. Long. That's one thing that someone's going to have to, you know, someone who can speak Chinese well is going to have to tell them, "Hey, you can't just be launching them." You know, what goes up's coming back. Yeah, like you got to be. Well, you don't ever hear about that with like SpaceX. Yeah. You know, or NASA. Like, yeah. normally they, I guess they're, you know, I guess, what do they call those, Earl? What's the top part that goes into space? Not the actual rocket capsule. part. Yeah, the capsule. Yeah. Normally the capsule and the body separate mm-hmm. pretty close to the ground. Yeah. You know, where you can tell where the rocket's going to come down at. Yeah. But you can't just send it into space and be like, okay, half of that's going to come down in two months. Right. Like, yeah. you can't just, like, when, not sure where. Either. We know when, but not where. Well, what happened? Did it not get, did they not? shoot it high enough to get it into space like orbit to where it wouldn't just crash back well i i don't know if that's what happened or not but yeah. there's a lot of things that could happen you know they got little rockets that point all different ways mm-hmm. and you know if you know somebody the wrong person right wired them up wrong or they actually could program wrong yeah the one that was supposed to set it to go up slightly angled made it go down yeah. and you know knocked it out of orbit uh could, could, be, could have been a whole, whole big but, thing. 
it's Chinese, right? Well, they couldn't have got one of them damn yo-yo w- wizards who's got the damn <laughs> shit going everywhere. Yeah. Couldn't have got him to be like, get those up. It back down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you got to get it high enough. <laughs> it I did see a down. thing on, uh, on the History Channel the other day where they were going to test a rocket, and they actually mounted the sensors that tell it up and down, mounted them all upside down. No oh. rocket. So Dang. it took off and went about thirty feet up in the air, and it turned. It said, "Oops, I'm going the wrong way," and it turned around. And turned right back. Hey. <laughs> said, yeah, I got to go back home. <laughs> Dude, what happened to the? Uh, what was the one that crashed like in the eighties? I mean, it didn't crash, but it went up and blew up. Oh, Challenger. Yeah, what happened to all them people? They well, I mean, did. what they the, did? Yeah, they no, killed the them people all. that you know, ones that didn't kill. Yeah, they the fall back to earth killed them. Yeah. Right, it mm-hmm. went up, cra- blew up, and then. Then it just, you know, everything fell back down. Everybody's fine. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, no, everybody wasn't fine. I mean, Most they blew up. Fine. Yeah, everybody you know. on the ground was fine. Yeah. Everybody in the water. I never right heard there. of anybody Surviving. suffering any. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Any prison time or, fi- you know. Yeah. They yeah. might Who's have liable for that? Ray- Raytheon made the O-ring. Am I right? Made the O-ring? Yeah, yeah that's. I, I, I eventually, that's what said failed, wasn't yeah. it? O ring on something failed. I, I, I don't mean to throw Raytheon under the bus if I'm incorrect, but no, some company it. that made the O ring. Oh, he ain't going to hear it. Now, yes. they may have. Uh, hey, you, you, know, you never know. Yeah. Good point. You never know. Entertainment the company may have, might have had some kind of fine yeah, against yeah. them or something or right. lost contract. Slap on the wrist or something. It, it's an O ring, too. So, well, I mean. Yeah, we're familiar with those. Yeah, people call us, be like, hey, my O ring's gone. We're like, Tough shit, buy a new motor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I kind of feel like that's kind of what they did, too. Like, yeah. mm, tough so shit, buy a new rocket. <laughs> an O-ring can be. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Now Now yeah. that, you know, me and Josh were unboxing a bunch of stuff one day that China's so damn dumb, and that's probably going to get me killed one day, but uh, they, I, I need, I had <laughs> some bunch of motors, right, that I needed to fly in from China, and about once a month, they'll fly us a crate or like a container, you know, a big, large apparatus full of stuff. Box. Yeah. Well, for some reason, they were like, oh, using a crate is forbidden. And we were like, well, no, it's not. <laughs> you know, two, whatever. Yeah, so they flew lying. in 50 individual pieces that were, you know, in a box about this big. And they all showed up, mm-hmm. but the boxes were beat all to hell. So. We had to flip them into new boxes, and almost every one we took out, there were just parts just laying in there. I was like, yes. this is not going to be good for this customer. No, this doesn't look good at all. Yeah. But what can you expect? I mean, yes, China. They got here quick. They got here relatively in Well, maybe they pieces. just sent you the parts. I want y'all to put it together. I mean, yeah. they did. Maybe. I mean, that was it. <laughs> Basically. That was, that was some essentially was, Some assembly happened. required. Yeah. Here's you some Legos with no instructions. Mm-hmm. Here you go. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Unless you, I mean, you know, they're starting to get open carry now in yep. most, a lot of states, you know. Mm-hmm. South so, Carolina's talking about it. Yeah. So, I mean, if you've got your license and been through training, I guess you can carry your gun on you. Mm-hmm. But some states, they want you can't. Yeah. Yeah. And I got to thinking, well, so you can't carry a gun on your person, but won't you make your little holster for your dog and put your gun in there? Now that is that's not a bad idea. idea. That, that's thinking outside the leash. Yep. yep. Well, I thought the other way, too. <laughs> that's right. I thought, you know, you could make a holster for your dog. That's what I thought yep. you meant. I well, thought, I mean, that's where I either way. It. But that's not a bad idea either. Dog well, gets tired, concrete gets too hot, put him in a backpack. Yeah. yeah. Put him in yeah. a backpack or like one of those baby carriers. Yeah. Like on the front. Yeah. Yep. That's a good idea. Yeah, dog holster for your gun, that's not bad at all, honestly. Well, My they, dog could carry either one of my guns. Yeah, your dog. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm, I was going to say, you know, you'd have to have Willie or a big dog to carry, like an AK-47 or yeah. something. But, I, you know, I guess. They make big dogs. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So For that very purpose. Yeah, probably. Skillet's going to tow the twenty two fairly, you know, he's going to struggle. Yeah, he's well, going he, yeah, to go around in circles. So it's gonna happen the problem is, yeah, whichever is, side it's on. <laughs> he's not going to be in there when you need it. Oh, no. You know? <laughs> no, 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 no. When it comes time to mm-hmm. needing your gun. He's going to be wandering off trying to pee on something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just know. in the corner somewhere. Right? Yeah. In the house. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. in other words, the dog holster theory is going to take a little prep work. Yeah. Well, that's the reason you're here. Yeah. We're yep. thinking if you could get this kind of mapped out for us and drawn out. <laughs> Designed. And, yeah. You know. <laughs> now, you run a sewing machine pretty good. <laughs> No, but I just acquired a bunch of sewing implements. Okay, so now about we're, now you know, we're cooking. Hour and a half from now, you'll be running it like it. a champ. <laughs> I, I do have quick. a sewing machine, and I just acquired all of my grandmother's 
sewing, not all, because we did throw some away, but then I decided, hey, I'll put them with my sewing machine. There you That's go. That's right. So I've got needles and bobbers. And just and so threads. y'all know, you know, well, <laughs> my bill's what they call her. And, and she was old. I mean, yeah. she, she was, I mean, she was old. Mm. I mean, she's been old as long as we've been alive. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, okay. well, but I Earl said they went up in the attic up there mm-hmm. and found a big back trash bag yeah. with raw cotton. I mean, picked cotton. Oh. It hadn't been through the general, just cotton yeah, in yeah. there. Oh, with the Old seeds and whatnot? Bag. Stood that high. Huh. With, the, with the seeds and whatnot yep. in it? Still had Still the seeds yeah. Fresh, huh? What? Well, yeah. I don't know if it's fresh. It might have been up there a while. <laughs> I was going to say, it could point. have been. That's <laughs> on me. That wasn't fresh. But, yeah, yeah, well, and plus, too, I mean, you know, if you think about that, you know, you got a lot going on there. Who picked that cotton? Mm-hmm. And who put it up there? Yeah. And well, why? Who put it up there <laughs> yeah. and why? That's a good point. Mm-hmm. It's, who put it up there? Are they still up there? Yeah. What happened to them? You, you got all kind of There's a lot of conspiracy questions. Conspiracy theory. Good I mean, point. You yeah. know. Good point. Yeah. You see there's chairs up there. They could have just been sitting around, you know. Yeah. yeah, glass jars up there. They got had a little something to drink, eat up there. They that, been a while. that seems like the makings of a damn uh, Dateline episode. Honestly, mm-hmm. could yeah. be good you know. voyeur. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's one of them roofs that go way up there. You can look up there. And you... Oh yeah. Oh. Ain't no rope hanging out or nothing, is it? No, no, no rope. Well, and no crevices up there. Nobody could be staying in, are there? No, no I don't think any crevices that big. Now that's a good point. Could have somebody squatting up there trying to make a damn quilt. Like, hey, it's cold in the winter. Yeah, <laughs> hey, hey, I need this. <laughs> yeah. do with this thing. I'm going to use this. I got to get the seeds out first, but I'm going to use this. Right. <laughs> uh, but that is a, uh, what were we talking about? Well, also, Earl, you got a new cell phone that you can look up YouTube videos on how to sew. So there you go. Maybe. Hour and a half. And there you go. Oh, yeah. Could be, oh, that's I, what we were talking about last week. I could uh, be an up and coming seamstress. Yeah, that's right. When you weren't here, we were trying to think of things that you probably couldn't do. And the list was not long. <laughs> no. And, oh, it's probably it's longer than you think. Well, that's that's what we thought. And that's why mm-hmm. we coined the term, you know, Earl of All Trades. Because we were talking like, oh, what do you think about this? Like, yeah, Eric will do it. You know. Yep. Eric can do it. I, I don't know anybody you, named Jack. I give Jack. just about anything a try once. And there you go. Yep. I don't know anybody named Jack. Also, I definitely don't know anybody named Jack who could do a lot of stuff. Yeah, not as much as Earl. No, definitely not as much as you were. Right. So, Earl of All Trades is a new thing. Yeah. Earl be nimble. Earl be quick. <laughs> Earl, fix your damn lawnmower if you need it. Real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I like that. We're changing that all these you know, <laughs> jack things to Earl now. All this is actually Earl because yeah. it's way truer. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> and don't forget the philosopher Earl. Yeah. yeah philosopher, philosopher Earl. Philosopher Earl. But, dude, those that, – and that just works. Like you said, I don't know nobody named Jack. Mm-mm. And if I did, they're not fast. They're not, you know, quick on their feet. No. Earl's nimble. Earl's quick. Earl fix your damn lawnmower right fast. You know, <laughs> you know we can do whatever. Yeah. So that's a good one. Uh, speaking of which, uh, we noticed that you'd been doing some work because uh, you told us mm. with you know electric well pump. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you don't go down in them wells. <laughs> no, do you? no, no, no. Oh, okay. well, electronicities. So we thought we'd done this once before, and I don't remember if you were here for it, but. We thought we would take some applications and, you know, help you out, even though you don't need it, you know, because yeah, just in case oh, it you helps need always it. appreciate it. Earl of all trades. That's it. Uh, and plus, I mean, since you retired, you've been working a whole lot. Oh, you and we right. thinking we yeah. need to spread this out some. Yeah. yeah you because, see, of course, see, they can't nobody do what you're going to do. See, right. when I retired early, I thought maybe I could get by for a while on my looks. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm working again. <laughs> okay, there we go. Mm, yeah. I feel like that's going to be the case for all of us. So, <laughs> so you know, you you've you've acquired all this knowledge over years, but yep. that, you know, we're going to get you a little helper there. But he ain't going to know nothing because yep. he's going to be like a 22 year old, and they don't know nothing. Yeah, they right. don't know nothing. Good point. So, so what we did was is we sent out some uh, re- uh, applications. And said, hey, you know, we found some people on Craigslist and on, uh, you know, a lot of illicit sites that were saying they needed work. Mm -hmm. So we didn't put your name to it. We just said, hey, we're hiring for some electrical ish and help. Apprenticeship. Yeah. Essentially is what we can. Now, what we have and what we want you to read, hopefully not, you know, don't read forward because uh, we have uh, some things in the notebook there with questions that were on the application. All right. And the Mm -hmm. answers that we got back. 
All right. So if you know, there's no pressure. You know, if reading's not your thing. No, oh no, I learned to read. All right, good. Well, well that well, wasn't on the list. Grade. Yeah, about grade. Grade. Yeah, that wasn't on the list that Earl couldn't do. Right. So, so we got some questions here that were on the applications and the answers that came back. We want to see if any of these people you think might be able to help you. Okay. So read the question and the answer. All right. So you were either trying to hire or find somebody to help me. Yeah, we're yeah, either going to yes. hire right. them or fire so them. So question number one: age. The overwhelming response was old enough. There we go. Yep. Which is acceptable. Yes, yeah, so my book. I mean, yeah, well, old yeah, old I've said it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we didn't want to put date of birth because then we'd have to do the math. So we put what's your age, and somebody said old enough. Old enough. That was that was yeah. the first response we got. Right. So we knew it was going to be good. Yeah. And so you ask them for their social security number. Yep. Mm-hmm. And again, the overwhelming response was that the government already tapped my phone. They know where to find me. So they didn't, yep. you know, give us the, the <laughs> number. number. They said, we're 0 for 2 right now. Yeah. Yes. Not a good applicant no. thus that's, far. That's part of it. Your full name, Philip, and that's all you need. Okay. <laughs> that's, so, that's probably true because I'm not going to say, hey, Philip Stewart. Yeah. Jack and Hoffer. Yeah. The third. It's, it's going to be, hey, Philip, <laughs> yeah. get your ass over here. <laughs> yeah, if his last name's Jack and Hoffer, we probably shouldn't <laughs> hire him. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to go there, but I'm yeah. glad you did. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Previous employer. Okay. Mm-hmm. Couldn't say. Good, couldn't tell you. Somebody put couldn't say. Like they didn't know. <laughs> like they didn't have, or they, yeah, they didn't know. <laughs> That's right. even worse, this, this actually. This is their first venture out into the employment world. I guess, <laughs> or they didn't know how to answer. Or, yeah, they're like, I, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and so the, for the, for the, some of the ones that did have previous work history, mm-hmm. uh, places where they had worked was Paul's Construction. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we thought maybe on that one. This was the most promising one because he listed the, you know, a couple places like in succession of I worked at Paul's Construction, you mm-hmm. know. And they also laid gravel near a nursing home one summer. So we thought <laughs> two for two. Hey, yeah. manual He's doing labor. something. Yep, manual labor. We're, we're now on track. We run into a technical glitch here, I do believe. Uh huh. Because number three is 11 years in prison. No. <laughs> oh. Right. And didn't elaborate. Just, hey, I worked at Paul's Construction. Hey, I laid some gravel near a nursing home. I was in prison for 11 years. 11 years in the pen. Yeah. And then <laughs> achieved their pinnacle job. I mean, worked at McDonald's. Mm. Right. Mm. So it started off promising, and then it kind of just went downhill. It petered out, it petered out yeah. pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. That one. Uh, so if all these were from one guy. I'd well, say, no, we know when he was thing. in jail, okay. he had a hard labor. <laughs> right. I mean, they listed it the job reference. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, he, it's experience. I mean, he right. was doing experience. something then, you know. So that was, you know, that's a couple different people giving mm-hmm. us answers. Hopefully it gets better. It's yeah, got because to because I don't <laughs> see it getting any worse. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so <laughs> you was asking him about, do they, got, do they possess any special skills and or talents? Yes. Yes. Because we, we didn't want to just get you some random idiot right. who knows yeah, how to yeah, plug yeah, wires yeah. together. You got to kind of know what you're working with, you know. Is this guy good at doing this or that? Well, you know what. Yeah, were you in some type of union? Right. Mm-hmm. You know, so, we didn't know. So the one guy responded, I can tap dance like a boss. Yeah. <laughs> now, we thought that guy. He could, might be fun. He, he might fun. be yeah. fun, yes. He'd be cool to work with. Yes. Yeah. Not necessarily good. real, you know, real helpful. But you, hey, entertainment. Hey, entertainment. Yeah, entertainment, if you know, nothing huh? else. Right. <laughs> Uh, and let's see, this other guy here, he might have responded, I've started over six wildfires that all got out of hand. <laughs> and we didn't know how to take that, and we were going to kind of leave that one up to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because see, when you start a wildfire, the goal would be for it to get out of hand. So I, that's the success. To I was saying, that's, goal. that's six for six. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he you know, set up yeah. to do what he kind of did. And consistency, you look for consistency. Mm-hmm. So you got that. All right, and another guy says, I can punch really, really hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good to know, too. Yeah. You know, if, if you ever whoever you're doing work for hard. starts to give you trouble, you say, hey. Bingo. Get or when you get off work and you go to a bar, you ain't got nothing to worry about. This is that's true. right. There we go. Every day when we come down from Mountain Rest, I try to get Jared to stop at the last chance, and he won't do it. No. Because you don't have somebody. Well, you tell him. Hey. He punch really, really hard. That's right. right. Somewhere to pop off. He's smart. He's there you smart. go. Well, you need to tell Jared this is the last chance now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. The next guy responded to special skills or talents. I've pretended to work for two different jobs over the last four years. 
<laughs> yeah. And we didn't also know how to take that one, but we thought if he's pretended to work and got paid, yeah, this well, is one smart boy here, yeah, right? I mean, he's you know, got some ingenuity of nothing else, a little creativity. Mm-hmm. He might be worth you know giving a second application to. Yeah, Maybe. just having yeah, to like, fill one out. Yeah, for like real. another one. Be like, yeah. hey, seriously, this time, stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. The next question on this survey would be, uh, why do you want to work here? Answer number one. Need to make a quick buck. Well, honesty. Every, everybody needs Honest. to make a quick buck. Mm-hmm. The quicker, the better. That's right. why I have a job yeah. to make money. You know. Yeah. yeah. The next one is. Uh, my mom said if I didn't get a job, she was going to call immigration on me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that one. That Damn. one. That probably had to be like cash payment. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. That's, That's the table. The table. That's ca- daily. Not. You can't wait till Friday. Yeah. Daily. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I worked yeah, yeah. five hours a day, paid me for five hours. He just put N-A where social security number was. Yeah, so was like, nah. for this guy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm hungry. Man, that's a pretty good incentive. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, that guy worked for a little mm-hmm. while. But, yeah. <laughs> that guy was actually standing at an intersection with a sign. And we said, I'm hey, hungry. you looking for a job? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, uh, yeah, I'm hungry. And we're like, well, that's enough. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's your answer. Yeah. <laughs> he would prefer you just hand him some money, but right. he would work a little bit. Yeah. He so the next guy said, honestly, I don't, but it takes money to buy shit. <laughs> yeah. And he was honest, too. Honest well, yeah, well. you know, and you I know. saw an honest guy. When I went out to San Francisco and walked, went down to Fear 13, Fear 31, which one is it? I, well, I wasn't with you. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you wasn't there at that day. <laughs> one of those two. You know, got, you know, all kind of homeless people out there. You know, oh, yeah. I'm a vet, homeless. Please help me. You know, what yep. you get? One guy, he was brave and bold, and I was sitting there smiling. Had a sign that said, need money for pot. <laughs> there you go. He probably raked in. I start saying I'd have gave him five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If yeah. you got it, if you're gonna be, I'm gonna go buy me the marriage you want. Yeah. If you're honest, I mean that's the thing. That's yeah. all you can ask it's for. It's the sometimes. best policy, honestly. Oh, it, it, it is. It always is. <laughs> all right. The next thing is, what skills do you possess that make you a good candidate? There we go. Mm-hmm. Well, what got us a ninja? Mm. Yeah. One guy just wrote ninja. <laughs> like not. You know, I know how to do karate. He just put just ninja. Put, he's ninja. just a ninja. So wow. he says. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll, we're going to have to yeah, test that we'll on him. He's coming back him for up a with that guy that can punch really, really hard and see who comes out on Let the top. There it might have been the same guy. No. Yeah, that <laughs> but that the guy, been, he also yeah, said he wouldn't be ninja anybody that didn't need to be ninja Yeah. So mm-hmm. he did say That's that. That's good. Only yeah. ninja people that need ninja All right. Now, response number two, I can light a gas grill without flinching. Well, that is that's a, pretty strong. Yeah, that's now. promising. Yeah, because I don't know a I lot of people who can yeah, put a little, lighter. That little down. always kind of get it. It, 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 it gets me. Right. I'm not even gonna lie. It gets yeah. me. I know it's coming. And then this the other guy says, "Well, you'll see." So he's got he's got confidence working for him. That's oh right. yeah. He, he says, well, what's put my me out skill? there and I'll show you some yeah. stuff. You'll, you'll see. see. You'll see. Yeah. Shit. Okay. This next guy says shapes. I'm really good at <laughs> guessing shapes and such. <laughs> and I thought that would be good to include because, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, if you say, hey, hand me that round thing over there, you you know, you don't want him to hand you the square one. Yeah. So, yeah. It's important. I mean, if you, could, if you could dumb down enough electrical engineering <laughs> to be just shapes, yeah, you could probably get them to work pretty good, but. Uh, I, I like, like your positivity, honestly, Earl, because we yeah. thought that you were going to shoot a lot of these down very quickly. Yeah. No, that, you always got to look at the bright side. They, they, you know, it's, you, you got to give people a chance. And Yeah, know. some people can't prove their worth until they're actually in front of you. That's right. These answers, you know, aren't necessarily I mean, telling. I've, I've said some dumb things in my life, too, you know. I've Once or twice. I've questions not really like I ought to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Most of mine's on. People hired know. my dumb ass anyway. Maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right, so uh, still on the subject of what skills do you possess to make a good candidate, I know how to run a fax machine. Now, that's rare because I'm not even 100% sure how to work a fax machine. Yeah, Mm-mm. I don't know too many If it was about 18 yes, years ago, he'd be yeah. in demand. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 You, could have so. a, you could have a guy stand there. Fax. We had one machine at work. It would copy, print, fax, and... Email it to you. All you can do, oh, yeah. Do them all. Hell you yeah. had one guy operating that thing when it first came out, didn't you? I knew it. Yep. 
Next question on this here survey is awards you have received at work in the past. We thought that would be a good question because yeah. if you get an accolade at work, you probably know what you're doing or you're doing something right. You've yeah, done probably pretty good. Yeah. You've done something well. According to these, not so much. <laughs> this one guy was apparently appointed the safety chief. This was later revoked after I attempted to blow start a weed whacker in the office. <laughs> <laughs> and we were hoping you could enlighten us because I... <laughs> I've, I've seen, heard of a pull start. Yeah. I attempted to blow start <laughs> a weed, weed eater. Way. I don't you know. Ever tried to, uh, you, have you ever seen him try to blow start one? I've heard of I blow mean, darts, but I never heard no, of a blow start. I, that, that, that one's kind of got me a little puzzled. I ain't sure how to blow start. <laughs> well, apparently he wasn't too good because he wouldn't sit down in his office and started. And so, yeah. I mean, he's tried to start a weed whacker in his office. So that's a telltale sign. Already. No matter how he tried, it was still not yeah. a good idea. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got a party planner committee member. Which is something? Is it something? It's something. It's something. It's, it's, I mean, it's a committee. It so, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously somebody thought he was capable of doing something. We yeah. need a little more detail. Maybe though, he on was the one. only one old enough to go buy the beer for the party, maybe. Or a place for it. Hey, six o'clock Friday night, come on. Yeah. The only one that could go in a party city. Mean, but he was just decoration. a member, though. He wasn't like the leader. <laughs> no, no, no. no. So, he was just on the, on the board. Com- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So <laughs> we we had a guy here who was the ocean rep, not OSHA rep, ocean, ocean rep. rep. Yeah. So and not the safety people. Not right. OSHA. No, this is the whale people. Ocean. Yeah. And he didn't oh. elaborate, but we're assuming it had something to do with the ocean. Mm. Yeah. Or <laughs> ocean he rep. just made it up, you know. I mean, you know. I mean, any surfer you know, can be an ocean rep. If you're working on a fishing boat, yeah. having an ocean rep might be a pretty important job. Right. You know? That's right. So he could have been communicate with them fishes you know, right underneath yep. the captain hey you captain the boat i got the ocean he's party. the ocean right. rep i got you so you know he could he could be a could he be could a, be that's somebody. the most promising one so far could yep. be we had one guy who was an emt oh that's cool an extra marital translator yep also known as an unpaid janitor and <laughs> i don't think he really understood the question honestly <laughs> because yeah. uh, None of that made sense. Yeah. Well, it doesn't. Well, I was going to say, I mean, I, f- I feel like he meant EMT like a paramedic. And I was like, okay, that might be good. I mean, you know, first aid, you can, yeah. you know, you get cut or something, he can help you. Yeah. But, but whatever the. But I don't whatever know that, that they was. just hand that title out as an award. Yeah. No, right. No, no. I feel like you have to work for that one. You, like, you have to have some training education, that, training. You know? yeah. Because if you don't, then there's not really. Yeah. Who you saving? Yeah, anybody can do it. Yeah, anybody can do the other part. Anybody can kill someone. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's the chance you got your good apprentice in that group there? I well, mean, chances right now are somewhere between Slim and none, and I think Slim just left town. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we thought. Yeah. But Based we off also of those thought, answers. you know, you're, you're a pretty positive guy, so we wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt to say, hey, this guy might work. And it's your assistant, so I mean, you got to be the one that kind of well, signs off. All yeah, the know. thing that most impresses me is that y'all's thoughtfulness enough to realize, as busy as I am, that you I sure have time for that. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. So well, that is greatly appreciated. Well, well no, we're not going to pay him. Well, I, yeah. I thought we was going to get around to that. <laughs> yeah. Briefly, but hey, you know, I didn't want to, you know, just throw that <laughs> out there. Like, go we're ahead, not going to pay him. Go ahead and fill that up now. It's kind of a twofold thing. We're not going to pay him. Also, we didn't volunteer because we don't know what the hell we're doing. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> we, but we do know this. The pay help. should be somewhere near the same thing as, well, what you get paid now. Yeah. So. yeah. still there, though. Yeah. Now, the people that were hungry are going to have trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy that needs money to buy shit, hey, he's going to be a little disappointed. <laughs> yeah. He yeah. is still going to be shitless. <laughs> yeah. Shitless. I bet after about a month, month two, we you not paying him, he'll quit coming. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah. That tends to do it. Oh, I'd do it. I'd not you show see, up. That would be a that would be a story unto itself. If he waited a month. What, yeah. a month or, yeah. You'd know. Uh, shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's like, damn, I still ain't got no shit. Yeah. I ain't got no yeah. shit. I'm going home. I ain't, I ain't got no nothing. shit there either. <laughs> I'm going yeah. to get back under that bridge. <laughs> I'm hungry still. Hey, <laughs> okay. Lordy. I thought I saw a damn, uh, where do we see that dead guy at? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's at the funeral home. <laughs> well, no, we, funeral home, but it was down on 4th Street down no, there. No, me and, 
me and Josh was somewhere. I was thinking about it because the guy, I thought he was under a bridge, but he wasn't. He was out in front of a restaurant. Where was he at? No, it was a guy sitting out. It was it was a guy sitting out in front of Starbucks, and he was sitting there, and he had a blanket on him. Yeah. And he'd cover, I think it was a homeless guy, and he covered himself up. Yeah, yeah I saw no. that guy. Yeah, I mean, he covered himself. He looked dead yeah. no, because no, he no. wasn't moving. We saw a guy out in front of a Sticky Fingers one time who was dead. Did we? Yeah, we was. Oh, no, I, no, I don't remember what you're talking about now. Were we at the beach? I think we were in Myrtle Beach. Yeah, and uh, Sticky the, Fingers. Not the north and, part. No. The south. Yeah, Sticky Fingers had done closed down, and there was a guy laying out there like he was you know, waiting to get in. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that never, Sticky Fingers had been closed for about two years, two yeah. and a half years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, he never got in, so he starved to death, I guess, or something. <laughs> but he was like, and the only reason I say he's dead because you know he wasn't doing mm-hmm. anything to make me think he was alive, and he was in the exact same position when we went past him. We went and played golf for four hours, and then came back, still in the same spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, and I knew he hadn't eaten either because I didn't see any barbecue on his hands. Yeah, and, and if you go to sticky fingers. You're going to get it everywhere. Exactly. Yeah. See, if that's the thing about dead people. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, you know, when, when dead people, you know, when when they die, well, they don't know they did. Yeah. You know, so it don't bother them. I mean, right. they Check think that. everything's cool, you know. Stupid people, same way. Mm-hmm. Oh, they yeah. don't know they're stupid. So it don't they think they're all right, mm-hmm. and yeah. they're not. Well, yeah, you think, I mean, I would imagine, <laughs> they're not. you know. No, <laughs> yeah. you're not. Yeah. You're not. Like, not. Like, I feel like I'm okay. Yeah. I'm not. No, <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> The pervading opinion is otherwise. Yeah, no, nah, it's not yeah. the popular opinion. But, but no, you know, I get some people saying. walk around stupid. And yeah. They don't know they're stupid. Yeah. Well, it's I mean, like a condition for some people. Yeah. And then I mean, when you, you try to tell Nancy them, Pelosi for how long now? Well, oh, I, yeah. I see mm-hmm. that's the thing. They've been around stupid people, and so they think they well. Now normal. it's the norm. That's the problem. Is yeah. now it's gone from hey that person's stupid to hey there's like twenty people over there in a mall that think that same way. They just can't be stupid. Right. They're still stupid. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yep. There's just a lot more of them. And yeah. when you try to tell them, they're like, nah. Nah, I ain't dumb. Like, bitch, that's what, that's, that's the how problem. I know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I know you're stupid, and I told you you was, and you said, nah. Nah. Not yeah. me. You, you are. You proved yeah. my point. I mean, yeah. yeah. You're stupid. That's all we needed to do was get you to, you know, to answer. Like, hey, you're stupid. I'm like, yeah, I am kind of dumb. Yeah. Well, I'll be the first to <laughs> well, admit we can it. Fix I'm not you. the smartest, so. Yeah. yeah. We you can know. fix you. But the people are like, hey, you're stupid. And they're like, nah. They're like, I had a, might as well uh, go ahead and kill them people. I had a friend come by and see me at work the other day. And uh, he's a, uh, well, it was a doctor. He's retired now, you know, family doctor. And I was talking Medicine to him and he man. said, uh, he said, you know, stupid people are everywhere. He said, uh, but then every once in a while you run somebody that got their stuff together. I mean, they kind of know what's going on. Mm-hmm. I said, yeah, but they few and far between. He said, yeah, are you right about that? He said, uh, had a guy come in my office right before I retired, and uh guy looks, he's 62 or 63, and, you know, I was talking to him, and, I mean, he's in great health. I mean, he's perfect. And I said, hey, man. Well, that's surprising. What, yeah, what yeah, you I doing mean, to only at 63, you know. He said, I'd be, I'd be well, decrepit. I'm, I'm a biker. I ride my bike every weekend. He said, uh, yeah, but it must be something else. He said. No, I just ride my bike, and he said, kind of took me back, and I said, well, did your dad live a long time? He said, yeah, he's still living. He said, I looked at I said, well, man, he's got to be 80 or 85. He said, yeah, he is. He said, uh, he loves to ride with me. Um, you know, it's something we do, you know, every weekend. You know, we go, and I mean, he said, well, what are y'all doing to keep healthy like that? And, well, we just ride our bikes. I mean, you know, and um, we got you know, Dang we Lance Armstrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, just, how many how many miles are you pushing? Uh, well, that's, that's exactly what he said. You know, and I'm thinking he talked to a 62 year old, 80 year old riding their bikes. And, right. You mm-hmm. know. Uh, yeah. Well, he said, uh, "Well, shoot, man, y'all must have a long li- lifeline in your family." Said, how old was your grandfather when he died? He said, "What makes you think he's dead?" Damn. That's that's what he said. He said, I said "Damn." Damn. <clears throat> I said, uh, "Well, how old is he?" That's he a said, weird way to respond to that, but okay. How old is he? <laughs> <laughs> he's 103. <laughs> oh shit! And he said, "Let me guess. He went riding with y'all this weekend." Mm-hmm. And God looked at him and said, "No, he got married. Huh. Got married. Yeah." 
your grandfather got married this weekend, so we couldn't go riding bikes with you. Yeah, you know, got married. Hmm. What 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 makes you think he wanted to get married? <laughs> <laughs> Doc said. <laughs> and the guy looked at him and said, What makes you think he wanted to? <laughs> <Mm-mm>. <laughs> yeah. No I'm like Doc looked at me and he said, I sighed right then, it's time for me to retire. So yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah. Damn, yeah. I mean shit, he got a lot <laughs> You got a long ways to go. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he's got forty more years at least. Oh yeah. You know, forty three. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can hold out forty three more years. Mm mm. Well, no, I'm I'm just hoping to make it to forty three. Oh yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna cash out early, I think. Mm. Well, you know, I mean what I'm thinking is forty three is a realistic number for me. Because yeah. nowadays people are, you know, and it's in our food and our, you know, deodorant. There's all types of chemicals. Yeah. Right. You don't know what's going into stuff. So probably a lot of us, our age, younger people are oh, going to yeah. die from some type of, you know, disease or cancer or something like right. that. Much earlier than it would. Yeah. Then, then even 50 years ago, 25 yeah. years ago when, when you guys grew up, cause all the stuff was real. All the food was real. Mostly. Yeah. When y'all grew up 50 years ago. Yeah. When y'all grew up 50 years ago. Yeah. We still didn't live <laughs> yeah. under the power lines. Yeah. yeah. I mean, y'all didn't, you know, you wasn't growing a third leg or nothing like no. that, but I saw some, um, I like hot pockets. Oh, hell you yeah. know, like not, like processed food, but like rolled food, yeah, is a different thing. Yeah, dude, uh, that is a perfect example of what is going to cause our death. Honestly, because yeah. oh, dude, hundred percent, food's going to be it somehow. Yeah, I it's going to cause it. Yeah, eventually. it's going to be an indirect I'm, cause. Yeah, but or I might choke. The <laughs> rolling up of food has caused obesity to skyrocket. Mm-hmm. And when I say rolling up a food, I mean making it easier to tote, you know, to walk around with. More like, con- yeah, more convenient. Right. And the first clue to that was hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you've kind of made that, uh, you put a handle on food. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's, a, that's a handheld that's device right there. started getting fat. Exactly. When, when you, you had to walk s- and eat. Mm, Bingo. When you, start, when you stop sitting down sitting and down saying, I need table, to eat this. A knife and, and a then fork. It and then being done, fat. I can get six hot dogs, dude. Put them in my pockets, you know, in a backpack or whatever. Yeah. And just roll down the road, eat one. Eat one. Eat one. Toss it. Eat one. Yeah. Toss I can't get a damn Salisbury steak, side of peas, and a, you know, some taters, candied yam. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, you can't. And eat that riding down the road. <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless you roll it up in a damn tortilla. Somebody roll it. There you and go. And you have a whatever taco, you know. Damn. That's what I'm saying, dude. And I'm not blaming it on Mexicans. That's not what I mean. No. No, because they're saying, not the only people that make rolled up food. Yeah, hot dogs are cylindrical shape, you know, phallic shape. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else is rolled up? Uh, dude, hot pockets are basically rolled cats up. Cats don't like them either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cats, yeah. Cats, don't, cats don't like yeah. that either. Not at all. <laughs> Speaking of rolled up food, do yeah. you know there's a sushi bar coming to the big city of Westminster? Oh, God. And a oh, coffee no bar. About. The coffee, I can understand. I drink me some coffee now. Yeah. I'll throw oh, yeah. out on a donut and a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. But I just can't. I can't see myself investing any money into this any sushi bar. I no, I'll tell you this. We not here's what we're not gonna do. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna get it from there. <laughs> but well, I might. Yeah. But I'm saying <laughs> I think in the coming weeks yeah, no, 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 no. what not we'll have time. here is we'll have an opportunity mm-hmm. for Earl to partake on some sushi. Yeah. I'm thinking you're not. <laughs> well, now, We're going to have an opportunity. Out, Here's out. an opportunity, but it, yeah. no, don't look forward to it. Here's out. We the got The best you. thing is, is if you see me eat it, you no, before you start making jokes, start making. if you see me eat it, you'll think, I could probably eat that. Because mm-hmm. I ain't eating no damn raw fish. Mm-hmm. I ain't doing it. I ain't eating many cooked fish if it ain't a shrimp. Mm-hmm. And that's not even a fish. Roll up a little chicken in there? Nah, I'd do that. We mm-hmm. might throw down on some ch- cooked chicken. Not hey, raw. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. We're not no, no, no. fucking psychopaths. <laughs> <laughs> chicken nuggets and roll it up in the tortilla. That Basically. They did. That's what Chick fil A did. Yeah. You know? Breakfast burrito. Oh. I just don't see the sushi bar kind of. I, I just... No, 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 no. Chick fil A said they're going to introduce a little, uh, what they call it? A new menu mm-hmm. uh, called the Little. Little Shit. People? No. Kind of. It's a little dwarf menu or something. It's like a little tight. I bet them people I met last weekend, I bet they'll be there. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it ain't just specifically for smalls. It's for everybody, but it's like new. They said keep an eye out for our new. It's not little dwarf. It's uh, 
You small, you uh, little something menu that they're going to serve out of the Dwarf House in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I and it's you. like keep an eye out for chicken wings and something else. I was like Chick Fil A. Calm you, down. You veer- was that Chick Fil A or Keeper? Chick Fil A. I was Chick-fil-A? like, you're veering from the Lord here. He ain't going to be happy with you. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Stick to nuggets, sauce, drinks, and sandwiches. Yep. Sweet tea. I Don't- mean, they already got people backed out into the major highways trying to get in there. Yeah. What more do they need to do? Mm-mm. I think they're trying to cause a damn world war is what they're trying to do. Well, in mm-hmm. case y'all don't know, they tore down the McDonald's in Clemson. I saw to it. Make a, to make a uh, to-go line for Chick-fil-A. Not mm. surprised. Not yeah, surprised it's going to be like a little racetrack in there. You have to oh, yeah. go all through these curves uh, yeah, the, to get the, through the, there. The figure eights to get through. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you yeah. see where it's gonna Papa be cool. John's pizza closed? Uh-uh. uh-uh. Looked to me like it was closed near the real estate sign out in front of Papa John's. Okay. It's not surprising because that some of the high. shittiest pizza expensive. I've ever had. Well, no, that's what I was thinking the other night, too. I was like, man, Papa John's sucks. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. just rode past it and I was like, fuck that. Yeah. I'm like, mm, no Well, like it that. all started when they fired Papa John. You know, and how you fire Papa John? He kind of had know. to on that one. I well, think. Yeah, yeah, but I mean. Well, they didn't have to. I mean, they were trying to be politically correct. Could have rehabbed him. You know. Yeah. Could have gave him a rehab option. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. But everybody deserves a second chance. Yeah, mm-hmm. good point. Earl, do you are you a uh, chef? Are you a cooker? Are you Absolutely good in the kitchen? not. Okay, now that is surprising. Yes, now that's something I didn't. We didn't see list it on the things that we knew you could do, or really, really suspected you could do. Yeah. But no, I don't do too much cooking. Well, yeah. you see, you got to understand everything Earl does is mm-hmm. fast, efficient. Yes, yeah, yeah. efficient. And cooking is fast. Key. Good point. You know. Unless. You roll it up. Ah. Now, you Maybe. get you a fryer, Earl? Oh, no, my God. God. You you could cook? You can buy them stacks of them tortilla things. and the, I might have to get me a stack of them to go to cooking on stuff and mm-hmm. rolling it up and see what happens. Mm-hmm. Now, be careful now. You'll gain weight quickly. Oh, yeah. Because it's... That. Yeah, I don't... Mm-hmm. Somebody yeah, threw I don't out know, a damn Earl. tortilla yeah. in the Watch parking out. lot the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. Just laying out there like all arrogant and shit. Man, like a Band-Aid on yeah. the asphalt? Yeah. I was like, I'm not picking up. A little that. acne dot? Yeah. <laughs> Not picking that up. Uh, but, yeah, I didn't know if uh, you was a uh, culinary wizard. No, never have cooked. Now, I mean, I can, you know, I can fry a little bacon. Yeah. A little sausage. We'll oh, yeah. Up some eggs, you know, but. Right. I don't, I don't cook. Oh, you ain't got time for that shit. I don't, yeah. I don't. It's so much easier just, you know, where I live is so convenient to eat a Western Oh, yeah. Sunday, I can just go get something quicker. So by the time you prepare it. Plus, you got to go buy all that stuff And first. cheaper. Yeah, that's the thing about it. you got to go buy it. it. Sit down and eat it. If you're trying to cook for one, yeah. you're going to throw half the stuff away. Right. Mm-hmm. And then you got to clean all that mess up. Yep. I could jump in the truck, run, go get it, bring it home, eat it, and throw the paper bag in the trash can a whole lot quicker. Yeah. Now, what's your go-to when you do that? What's one of your favorites just to go get, eat it, be done? Uh, Quick hitter. Well, it was Papa several. John's I go pizza. to Bojangles and get uh, the... the <laughs> Breast and mashed potatoes and gravy. Okay. Gotcha. I go to Little Pig's Barbecue. Yep. And I usually get enough to make three meals out of that. There you go. That's uh, smart. I go to Little Caesars and get a pizza. And okay. I need to make two, sometimes three meals out of that. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I go to uh, Beef and Rib and yep. get a hamburger steak. Which is, uh, which is going to... Just change. Change. Yeah, yep. We got a new name coming. There we go. Yeah, but, but I make two meals out of that. I cut the hamburger steak in half and throw half french fries in the deep fryer. And I'll eat the other half another night. Uh, I'll do a Burger King once in a while. You refry mm-hmm. your french fries? Yeah. Okay. How's that work? Keep them fresh? Yeah. Well, Good. See, I usually go five or six o'clock and get it. Yeah. And bring it home. Yeah. Put it in the microwave and let it settle a while. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I usually ain't ready to eat, especially this time of year where you got some daylight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, in the wintertime, I might go ahead and eat it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But now I'm usually piddling around out tomato plants or, you know, something outside. Yeah. You, don't want, the, yeah, you, don't, you don't want that nap belly. Oh, you yeah. don't want that so after. I throw, you know. I throw them in the deep fryer there for two or three minutes just to heat them back up good. Mm-hmm. Them That's good. smart. I never thought about that, Earl. Yeah. That's but see, good. I picked up on what he was saying. Earl will go get this stuff and make like two or three meals out of it. Mm-hmm. Mine and your fat ass, we'll go get two or three plates and have one and sitting. one meal out of it. Yeah, yeah y'all that's got the to know yeah. I was gonna say yeah, we got I'll a flip l- this thing around. It's a little bit different for us, but you know, not too different. Thirty, right? thirty-two, and twenty-six years it took us to figure out. That's why Earl looks like he does, and that's why we look like we do. And that's all for the episode. It's all in the <laughs>